2014, Rock on the Range here with Paolo from Trivium. What's up, man? Not much, man. So you guys came in from Canada. Yes. Man, it was, uh, crazy. Got up at 4 a.m. today and uh, crossed the border and pretty much rolled out of bed and went right up on stage. Yeah, well, you guys did. I mean, I was out there, so it looked like you had plenty of energy, at least yeah. at that point. I'm sure you're worn out now. Yeah, it's kind of one of those things you're just running on adrenaline, and when you walk out and there's thousands of people, you instantly wake up, you're ready for it. So yeah. it was a great, great show for us. Yeah, man. Well, I got to tell you, man, it's... I, I guess all the fans that listen to you guys and know... I mean, know... I know here in the States... Um, sometimes I, when I think about Trivium, with a lot of metal bands, yeah. um, I, I, th I remember you guys, like I think about the shows you guys do in Europe, where metal is so yeah. fucking huge, man, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, I, and I was telling somebody while ago, I was telling one of the other label reps, I was like, you know, when I think of Trivium, I always think of, on this lineup, like this is really the biggest band here. Really. Because they play show, and because and, you so guys are so big in yeah. Europe, um, and everything, do, do you ever, like when you, when you, go to festivals and stuff like that, do you really ever, honestly, as an artist, do you really like look at the crowd numbers at all? Is that even something that crosses your mind? Or I mean, when we go out on stage, no matter where, no matter when, what time we're playing first or last, we go out with as much intensity as we would if we were headlining this festival. And that's something we've realized that, you know, maybe we're not the, the last band of the show, but these people might be seeing us for the first time. Right. Our first impression matters, and Absolutely. we want them to see what a Trivium show, you know, even what, what Trivium's like when we headline. It's the same as when we open a, the, say, the right. set, you know. It's, right. uh, it's full on right away. Yeah. yeah, well, you guys do, do a good job with the shows, man. And, you know, uh, the new album is really, I, I feel like it's, a, you guys kind of took a step in a, maybe a little bit different direction. I know yeah. Draymond was there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it did a lot of work with you guys. And yeah. I noticed Matt doing a lot more singing on this album yeah. um, than he has in the past. Yeah. A little less screaming, more singing. Yeah, like it was... Is that a conscious decision you guys made? It's kind of one of those things where, like, obviously we came out of the gate with an album, like Ascendancy, you know, very intense, uh, a lot of screaming. But one thing we've always had is that melody. And now what we've tried to really do is is to blend the melody the extreme stuff the screaming everything trying to just find that great middle ground to where singing screaming it's still intense it's still trivium and you know, i think matt's just grown so much as a vocalist that you know it, when you know when he sings it's just as powerful now right. as when he screams in the past it was like black and white like heavy parts scream melodic parts sing now we kind of play with that a little bit more, and that's something that's more exciting for us is to mix it up. Right. Well, I mean, I know, like I said, I know in the documentary, I, 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 Draymond did do a lot of, um, he was there, he was really, and he was really pushing Matt yeah. uh, a lot on this album to really sing and, and use his vocals yeah. more so um, and everything. And when you, you know, when you guys are, are together like that, I mean, is, is Draymond really kind of sitting down one-on-one -on -one with each of you guys and kind of going over, like, you know? I, I think he was, like, I mean, really not only just the producer but uh, kind of a, a mentor role and someone who has been doing this much longer than us that's been through all the, the same things that we've been through as a band and that was a really interesting perspective as a producer you know and I think when we got in there and we were doing stuff he was very mindful of we're gonna have to play this stuff live you know and that was something exactly. that was really an important thing for us to remember but at the same time he, he told Matt he's like you're such a great singer and a great player that you can push yourself to do things that you know you haven't done yet and even like a song like brave this storm probably one of the hardest songs for matt to sing and play because both parts his singing and his uh guitar part are two totally different rhythms so he's having to do the one while not even thinking about the other and uh, you know when we first started it was like that was like this is unbelievably hard and by now he's it's like second nature day. yeah and i think that was a great thing with working with david is he just he really believes in our band. He believed in us. He believes, you know, that we're capable of doing really good things and great things. And, you know, he helped us to achieve that with Vengeance Falls. Well, he has been since day one. I mean, I got the chance to see you guys uh, in, in Las Vegas last year. You guys yeah. were at the House of Blues and when David was there yeah. and came out and everything. And, um, and I knew then, you know, obviously knowing... I know a good bit about Dave and, and the yeah. way Dave is and the way Dave thinks. And he doesn't get behind anybody that he's not, you yeah, know, that's, totally convinced that these guys have got it. You that know. was like a really, I mean, an honor for us when he first approached us about possibly working together in the in the future, and then when it actually happened, you know, I and like you said, David 
you know, his time is very limited. He has so much going on with, you know, his own projects, with obviously Disturb, you know, when that's up and running and doing the stuff. Vice, and, right. You know, to, to have time for us, we felt really appreciative of him, of him taking us in and literally in his house to live. I know, I saw that dude, and he was like, uh, I saw where you guys were talking about eating all this food, oh, yeah. and man said about drinking all the water. He's like, we drink like, you know, 12 gallons of water a week, and, yeah, and you know. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, man. I mean, we, uh, we had a great time with him. He's a great person, but, you know, he really stepped up for us and has vouched for us even by working with us, and, uh, and we really will always appreciate that. Something I did see in the video, just because I'm a music yeah. guy, um, I saw this in the video, and then I saw, and I had, I saw people were commenting on it. In the, in the documentary, you, were, you took all the strings off your, off your bass and yeah. you were cleaning it. Yeah. And I saw a lot of comments that people were like, no, you never take all the strings off. I mean, which obviously if they're, yeah. you know, at your point where you're at, I'm like, well, wait a minute. Now, this guy knows yeah. what he's doing. But as but me and myself, yeah. you, know, with, you know, I dabble with the guitars. Yeah, and so I'm yeah. like, is that, is that? I guess I can see what someone will be talking about, but the only way to, to properly clean the fretboard would be to take them all off. I mean, I watch our techs do it every day. You know, it's it's a tension thing. I mean, if you leave everything really wound up on there and just took one off and left it all really, I usually try to loosen all the strings all at once right. to get the tension off the neck so it's even. I mean, everyone has their preference. Um, I just watch what our techs have done and the guys that are even better with teching the gear than I would be. Right. So, well, that's what I thought. Yeah. I just figured out this guy. I mean, he's probably been doing this everyone all along. Everyone has their, I don't... their ways of doing stuff and quirks. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you like. What is, I mean, I, I was wondering, like, for for a bass player, right? Like, what is like on stage, like? Yeah. Because you know everybody's looking, they're watching the you know the yeah. lead singer, and but then the guitar guy, you know, the lead guitar gets his solo. I'm like, but the bass player to me is almost like the drummer. Yeah. Like they're holding all this shit yeah. down, and people don't. I mean, if people don't know music, yeah. or technically don't yeah. know it, they don't sometimes realize that. But these yeah. are your guys that are holding everything down. So, I think it's always to me like bass player is like the baddest motherfuckers yeah. on the damn. I, I think. Um been lucky you know our fans are really in tune with each of us as players uh, a lot of our fans are musicians themselves so I, I mean that's that's the cool thing I mean I, they definitely hold us or for, for us we have to really stay on top of our stuff because our fans are all musicians themselves but right. um, you know I get every now and then I'll have a song where I have my solo spot and for me it's about just being a tight player like if I can get up every day without ever doubting that I'm going to be able to pull it off. That's what I like. That's what I love with players that you know they're better. They can do a lot more. But when they're in the pocket and they serve the song and they do it right. great, I love that. Absolutely, man. Are you guys back there now? Uh, are you guys back there working out with Matt? Is he teaching you guys uh, uh, jiu-jitsu? Jiu and... It was one of those things where I, I did a couple, but my fear is just for my fingers. And I know Matt has to watch uh, yeah. his. He wraps his. And, you know, he's got a couple not like injuries but just you know you get it's, it's a sport it's right, physical yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. but he really loves it he's been very careful about it i know a lot of other bands we meet on tour there's guys that do it so they all yeah. meet up and i'm just train. thinking about you guys better fucking around with Corey. he's a big damn too man. well that's the thing with Corey is like you could do all the jujitsu but if Corey gets you man you're done <laughs> yeah. you can do all kind of escape moves yeah, to get we'll, away from uh, big yeah, ass we'll, uh, wrestling move on you yeah well cool man well i appreciate you <laughs> stopping by and talking to this pal man i love you Thank guys you new much. album vengeance falls it's out if you haven't got it go get it it's good trivia man Thank 2014 you. rock on the range much.